All right, people, welcome back. More Dev Pro quote unquote dual commentary, though this is not Dev Pro, this is YGO. And we are on the Checkmate server, so I wanted to go ahead and try this out once again, Checkmate server. So we got Spider Bites here playing the Magic Specters versus Gala 1302 playing, looks, looks to be maybe Blue Eyes or Felgrand. Like, okay. Uh, you flip the rivalry, but I mean, they're pretty much all spellcasters. Like, Magic Specters, I still think, are some hot shit. Hot shit. And when I mean hot shit, I don't mean negative way. I mean in a fucking positive way. I mean, like, fucking, like, they're monsters that can't be car destroyed by card effect or targeted, you know? The only thing you can really do is attack over them, but, like, they're gonna allow you to do that with their fucking, you know, their searchable, solemn, uh, fucking friendly barrier and their fucking friendly break banishing card. Like, I, I, I still think Magic Specters are a great fucking deck. Like, I definitely think that they're easily, easily top. Tier 1.5. I really do. I think that they're above the tier 1 so special. Because I, I see them pop up a lot, you know. Anyway, this duel ended super quick. So we're just going to, you know, go back on the checkmate server and then just watch a whole bunch of duels. And uh, hopefully. So we go spectate. Then we got some duels here. Just, we just click and they start, you know. I'm still not used to it. I hope that maybe we can see some more matches. But, uh, you know, maybe we'll see more of a competitive side of things. Uh, we'll try to checkmate server out. If it doesn't work, then I don't know. Hopefully, by next week, um... Freaking Dev Pro will be stabilized. Like their servers are just not stable. You know, uh, sometimes the Checkmate server is not the most stable thing, and I often get kicked out. So hopefully that won't happen. If it does, and I can't connect for a little while, I'll just pause the video, and wait till I can connect again. You know, you already know. I'm not gonna sit here and make you guys wait. So we got a little bit of the uh, we got MLK Bro and Harambe, of course. You know, you could put your name as anything on here. I don't think I built someone named Stratos is Harambe or something like that. Uh, but you can see he is playing uh, the Prediction Princess sub -terror. I think it's just sub -terror, right? I think you just naturally play the Prediction Princess in the sub -terror deck, so I think it's still just sub -terror, but I'm not sure the, the exact title, because I've seen sub -terrors. most of the time when I see sub -terrors, they're with Prediction Princesses, and that's sometimes I see Shadal's thrown in. It looks like maybe, like, Yusenju? Like, Card to Mind Yusenju, maybe? Because I saw, like, Magic Drain, and I... Magic Drain is not a card you generally play in your Sundays unless you're taking it to the next level with your card demise, and then he scoops. Like, I, I thought that maybe with here, we the Checkmate server, that people wouldn't quit that often. But, I mean, if they want to keep quitting, I don't really care. I mean, I'm just going to keep talking. But it might be easier and more entertaining to actually see some duels. Oh, oh, whoa. Whoa, okay. All right. Wavering eyes. Like, I'm not sure if I clicked on something, but maybe OCG, but I mean, Wavering eyes pop, you automatically get your scale. You already know, card of demise, draw one card. Like, card of demise, please. I, I haven't seen them as of late. I really have not. Like, they kind of fell off. I definitely think there's just stronger card demise decks, you know? Well, definitely one of them I think that's a strong card demise deck is Magic Specters. I already talked about how it's good I think Magic Specters are. And I think, I think Cosmos are a better deck too. They're a little bit more aggressive, you know? Uh, this deck, on the other hand, uh, is that just the wrong scale? No, that wasn't the wrong scale. That was Carrier, right? Why, why'd you... Why did you pitch the Carrier instead of activating it in the Pendulum scale? Uh, whatever, whatever, yeah. You just end up pitching it anyway. And, and you, and the sad thing is, you really didn't go plus. Like, one, two, three, four, five. Like, you negged on the, the Wavering Eyes. You, 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 you didn't really do much. I mean, you got your Scout, so... You know, you're in this thing, but I'm just kind of wondering what's up, what was up with that, you know? There's Rickway. You didn't go plus, but I guess you got your sacrifice and your scout. You can't really ask too much more of that, right? Yeah, you can, but... Uh, am I allowed to, like, view the extra deck? Like, if, that'd be cool. Uh, I'm pressing the F buttons. I, I don't think I can. That sucks. I really like to view the extra deck and see, you know? So, he went ahead and normal summoned that, uh... That tin can. It's Cosmos. And cut that swift reclay, which only really works when you chain it to something. Because outside of that, it's mandatory effect that I'd be chain link one. That would, you know, the monster effect. Especially, like, for example, like, uh, effect like Stratos, who gets the effect during when he's summoned. He would be chain link two. There he could be chain link one. So you get to search, and then his effect would be negated. So it's kind of, yeah, yeah, you know. Okay, it's good, but it's not fantastic, you know. For anything, I'm definitely expecting, you know, the... The scale drain, lose one turn, shit like that. Just make sure that he can't play. Uh, but uh, if this does go to like gains two or three, I definitely think that they'll probably be siding in uh, against each other some of that system down. Because I mean, it works for both decks. You know, this down's great against the Cleave deck and great against Cosmos. But I, 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 I don't know. Of course, ABCs. But 
I think that the 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 system now will definitely return when ABCs come out. As of right now, it's kind of been taken out of the the side deck uh, because, as you can see, Cleese, despite Carter Mize not getting hit, they just haven't been there. You know, it's a different format, different kind of game, uh, and Cosmos they're not even top tier anymore. So, you know, unless you're super weak against those two particular decks, you, you know, it's not very often that you see. Uh, system down being played as much, but definitely when ABCs come out, you're going to be seeing that. You're going to be seeing the system down. It's so good. It's just like, pay a thousand, just banish all the, the monsters on the field in your Grave Rider machine. Just gone, you know? So, <laughs> that would be fantastic. That's a fantastic way to make sure that they don't get their freaking, uh, their uh, ABC. Alright. So we're going to go ahead and Pendulum Summon, Pendulum Summon, and he might be able to go for game, but I seriously doubt that Tin Can's gonna sit there. I wouldn't be surprised if he just tacks out into Dark Destroyer. Which I'm thinking this might be an OCG duel because of Wavering Eyes. I believe OCG still has one Wavering Eyes. They limited it. I think we banned it. So I wouldn't be surprised if he just tags out into Dark Destroyer like right now. You know, because if it's OCG, they have three Dark Destroyer still. Wow, we hit Dark Destroyer on our list. Yep, there it is. I, I kind of called that. So, uh, and then here we go with the problem again. Uh, this is chain link one. This is chain link two. So Dr. Shore will pop before Reclay can negate. So now, what's the good thing about Reclay is if uh, a little fire hired monster. Uh, face, also, it is banished when it leaves the field. So it's, this Dr. Shore is going to get banished instead of going to the graveyard to then activate its effect when it's destroyed by card effect to then float. So uh, if he gets away to handle the Dr. Destroyer, then he'll be fine. But now it looks like he's going to crash. Maybe he has, like, um, Forbidden Chalice. You know, attack during the damage step, Forbidden Chalice. Yep, 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 that's what I thought. Looks like he has Forbidden Chalice. Uh, go to 32, run with Dark Destroyer, who will then get banished instead of going to the graveyard, which means no floating, and uh, get it in. So. It's interesting. We're seeing an OCG duel. Oh, Emergency Teleport. Okay, well, that's a one at both. That's one at both, so... Uh, let me see some number generation here, but hey, what are you gonna do, right? It's, it's online Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, yeah, they they hit emergency teleport down to one in the OCG before we hit it down to one, but no, it's at one as well. So you're just gonna summon a straw man, and then you're gonna tag out with the straw man. I'm guessing. Oh no, his booty is so high that they can't. The rest of the monsters can't attack over it. But are you gonna do anything with the straw man? Like, are you gonna tag out, or you just gonna let him get banished? Because if I were you, if I were you, I probably would have. Okay, you're gonna tag out. To another Doctor Shore, possibly. Oh, Slip Rider this time. All right, and once again, the Slip is gonna miss. <laughs> I mean, the the Reclay's gonna miss, and Reclay's gonna get popped by the Slip Rider. See, Reclay's, yeah. Like when when you chain it, when you get it, when you hit it the first time on activation, yeah, it's pretty good. It's kind of like a little pseudo Berkey skill. But outside of that, I mean, outside of just giving your clean monsters their their uh, their effects back. I mean, they're negating their effects, so they give them their stats back. It's not the greatest of cards, you know. Ooh, there's that Cosmon Town. That's what we've been waiting for. Like the duel is definitely different. Like the like the difference between Cosmos with Cosmon Town and without Cosmon Town are like night and day. I swear to Christ, they are. You know, and um, I've been thinking that uh, that Cosmic Cyclone card, like I think it's getting to be like a really great side card. Really, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you know, because uh, it can it, it pretty much does what you want it to do for MST. So if you're just if you're just signing in MST, uh, then it does like that. Really, really. That's kind of ballsy. It kind of thought you'd summon the straw man, and straw man would summon you back the dark destroyer. Why would you like straw man? Get this, you know, the straw man. I think you're gonna straw man, summon back the dark destroyer, attack over everything, float down. So, I don't, I don't know. I'm not sure if I really like that. But, oh, or you could just get another straw man. You know, that works. <laughs> or you maybe you already had another straw man. Maybe, maybe. Or I think straw man's definitely playing more multiples with lower darkness at three, and you know, gold stars and stuff like that. So you could play more straw man to do additional plays. Uh, so. I think it just helps. It just it's just more. It's just more. Especially with Alert Darkness at three. You just Alert Darkness, banish a dark, straw man, straw man summon back, summon like that dark destroyer, whatever you banished. And then during the end phase I'll float down to a tin can, and tin can would do its shenanigans here, you know. It's, it's just good. Like I I say Cosmos Cosmos <laughs> uh Cosmos are still good. I still think they're good. I don't think they're tier one. I do not think they're tier they're, they're tier one. Uh but they're still they're still pretty good at, you know. You, know, you got a little bit of the Fire King Cosmos and the Card of Demise card Cosmos. You know? <laughs> oh, oh yeah, definitely OCG. You can go ahead and play that Queen Fort down. So he might be playing like Towers. Towers. If he summons Towers, unless this Cosmo guy is playing, um, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Until Doctor Strange, because it is OCG. Unless he, it, unless they, he's playing like Dark Planet, I, I don't see a way he can get around this. So, yep, tag out and pop that, turn on the phone around. And we're seeing the power of uh, multiple Dark Strange. So I'm kind of wondering what OCG is going to do because hitting Dark Strange down to one, that was that was a smart choice, TCG. You know, and this is coming from a guy who plays Cosmos No Bias. So you can go ahead and just search for his last Dark Destroyer. Tag out some of the Dark Destroyer attack, and that is game. So. Uh, you, you, you're clearly you're remembering, you know, having flashbacks of the multiple Dark Destroyers. So, with only one Dark Destroyer, he wouldn't be able to do the shit that he's doing right now. But, you know, also, he hasn't hit Dark Destroyer yet. And, you know, it's not once per turn. You can pop and straight in the yard. You know, yard, you know. So, all right, that is game. So, let's go back on the server and get a another duel. So, um, we'll duel with you. So, Black, Delta Fire, and the C Cypher Good Toe 998. And uh, it's playing, uh, once again, we're seeing a little bit of sub terrors, which is interesting because you know, this, is, this, is uh, this is the checkmate server. You, know? you, don't, you don't see the competitiveness, but I guess maybe 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 people do, do think that sub is a hot shit. I would like to see what they get in the next set, you know, before I really judge them. It's really too early to think they're too great. I mean, not even Cosmos were that great in just their first set. So, you know, just give them one more set and we'll see what they can do. So, uh, it looks like going to get some kind of synchro deck, you know. I don't think that it's dark synchro. It doesn't really doesn't look like it. It just looks like it's just a blatantly synchro deck. Got really, I saw him strike at least. Saw him strike in. The demise of the land activate when your opponent's special summons a monster. So when special from your deck and activate it. Okay, so your opponent's special summons a monster, and then you get a new fill spell. And then when hidden cities activate, you get a search. Yeah, it's not a terrible card. It's kind of like a like a quicker quicker terraforming. You know, it's actually pretty good. It's actually it's actually really good. Actually, wow. And he's just gonna go ahead and scoop it up. Like he's like, fuck it. You know, I got nothing. So. Uh, let's go ahead and join the checkmate server once again and get another duel. This guy looks like he's a fairly high rating. You know, I like that it just starts like immediately. You know, I like that. And of course, we're going to be seeing some Burning Abyss, PK Fire related things. Like, as long as Dante's at three, this deck will forever, forever be meta. Forever be meta. You know, you you can. I mean, I see. I mean, it's just the multiple Dantes. The multiple Dantes forever be meta. It really will. Um, it just floats so hard, so hard. Wow, wind-ups, okay. You know, the Bahamas shard. I'm not sure if this is OCG. Yeah, yeah, it's OCG. I was just kind of wondering. Uh, but there you go, there's Tree Toad. Yep. So, Tree Toad kind of took the, 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 the Twin Toaster, which is nice. And he's playing that water barrier statue too. You already know that that's fairly good. You know, he can if he buffs out and and Marmel, I mean that's it. Pretty, pretty much GG. You can go ahead and kiss that solid morning. But the Barney Bits, they're not done. They float, they they get their cards and multiple Dantes, they not done. Well, wow, throwing a little bit of infernalites with it? Why not? I mean, he's just milling and going and playing and going. Like see, and and how many Dantes has he played in this duel? Huh? Three? Yeah. See? As long as Dante's at three, that deck will forever be good. Forever be good. How to play Power of Desires, hopefully get back into this. Oh yeah, you can play that. Interesting, but you didn't play you didn't summon Norton? I like, couldn't wouldn't Norton just been just as good? Or maybe you want to save it for later? Okay, I was about to say, like, is it frozen? Like we were going so fast and then we just slowed down. Maybe maybe it was going fast because it was giving me, you know, the play by play went happened already and now it's slowing down because I caught up. I don't know. I don't know how Legend of Her works, but if that's the case, and that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool that I can hop in and it'll just quickly show me everything that's happened in the duel. And then when I catch up, it'll be like, okay, now we're going back to normal pace, you know. So that, that's pretty cool. So of course Beatrice, detach the Dante, send the the uh, the Farfa. Oh, our armor deck. Okay. I kind of thought you would send Farfa, and then Farfa would banish the, the... Oh, no, you can summon back the Graf, and then Graf will summon you the Farfa, and then Farfa will banish you the... the hell. No, 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 you were getting back your Graf with uh, Dante, so no? Hmm. I don't know. But, like I said, like, what do we have to do? Like, what's, what's next? Skarm to one? Teratop? Teratop's probably definitely going to go to one. one. There, there's probably you no know, defense bust about that. But, uh... uh what else, you know? Like, are we really just going to continue leaving Dante at three? 
So he's going to attack and then use that Deviati effect to negate. Uh, I thought this could activate during the damage step, where Deviati couldn't negate, but maybe not. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. No, when any monster declares an attack, so no, you got to declare an attack, which means that that's an attack declaration, which means you can still get fucked up by Deviati, you know, despite it affecting the uh, the attack and the attack of uh, the attack drop. Which you think you can activate damage step, but nope, you have to suck on the monster declares an attack. So rip, and wow, you know, he busted out the powerful tree toad and shit. Oh, oh, this is actually a match. Interesting, interesting. Uh, but it doesn't matter when you can just go multiple Dante's Mill, a whole bunch of shit, and then float, 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 like, that, just, just that. Like, you look up the definition of float in the dictionary, and it would literally just show you a picture of Dante. <laughs> and all his burning abyss cronies. Like, for goodness sakes, that deck is just so annoying to deal with, you know. That's why I like holding their special summon. It really is awesome. It's really awesome if you could just lock it down. Get them easy wins if you could just turn off their special summoning, you know. That's why that barrier statue that's popping up in the meta is pretty good. Pretty good, you know. It's interesting that the format is actually like that, where you can actually play a barrier statue that, you know. Uh, but when you're so focused on special summoning, this format, uh, really, and there's a lot, you know, like, um, you know, Burning Abyss PK5, they're really focused on special summoning. Uh, Blue Eyes, of course. Like, you know how many fucking duels I've won by either A, flipping up vanities, or B, summoning, like, um, quarantine on blue ice, fucking easy win. Let's go. You know you can't normal summon. Um, uh, the herald deck. You know, they're, they're, like I'm not. I'm not a big fan of the herald deck. I think. I think the herald deck is a little weaker than we thought at first. At first, we were like, oh my god, you know that's top tier shit right there. You know, the tribute, the Ben Ten, some of the herald, I'll get the search and all that. But a, you pretty much have the same weaknesses as blue ice. You know, and that's a problem. That's a problem. When you have the exact same weaknesses as the top tier deck that people are already preparing to side against. You're gonna get fucked by casualty. So, and Solemn Strike is still at three. Like, maybe if Solemn Strike was limited to one, maybe we could talk. Maybe we could be like, yeah, you know what? Uh, you know, the deck is pretty strong. You bust out that Herald, there's not too much to negate it. But as long as Solemn Strike is at three, you go Herald. You pitch in the gate. I hit you with that Solemn Strike. You know? Stick Chair is still really great. You know, that's probably one of the, another one of the great things that that can't be power creep is Stick Chair. And uh, there's one way out to out the Barrier Statue. Uh, but the, of course, the Barrier Statue, as that does play the Moon Mirror Shield and all the protection, the, the sword and the and the wings and the, the mirror forces to make sure that that, that Barrier Statue stays. That's gone in the hand. Like, I don't know. It just seems like he's taking it in there and uh, it's just going to get a fast ran over by a bar bar. And it can be run up by a lot of. I don't know. I wouldn't say a lot of them. Probably like maybe half of the Burning Abyss monsters. So that ain't shit. No, like you thought you thought that was shit. Like maybe if you would have backed it up with some actual backer or something like that, and maybe we could talk about the the uh, barrier statue. But right now, water's pretty good. I'd say water's pretty good. Uh, I mean, Mermels, Mermels. I'd say the best barrier statue right now is probably wow. Well, uh, Barrier Statue. We're talking about Barrier Statue, because of course number one is False Dino, but uh, Barrier Statue, I'm gonna have to say the Earth one. Not a lot, not too much Earth. Like, maybe if you're worried about, like, Pendulum Sorcerer, but not too much Earth. You know? Wind, I mean, Barrier Statues, they took an Elder Magic Statues anyway, so I guess Wind would be a pretty good one to play as well, um, if you're trying to play, depending on how many copies you play. I think it's like, I think they just play seven monsters when I was seen. It's just generally the three false Dynasty, then three, one Barrier Statue, then one of the other, so I definitely say um, that Earth, I'd probably say Earth, um, Wind, because you're probably just going to take that L to their Magic Specters anyway. Don't play Fire, because fucking uh, Metal Foes. Don't play... Well, the, I mean, water. Water is the big one. I generally see one water because I mean, it's uh, it's just from Mermel, and you might be able to beat Mermel anyway. You know, it depends. Like, if you if you're only play one water, and if you if you're misfortunate to get that one water against Mermel, they like, go first, play that one water, you know, do all your shit, and then they're just like, ha, I'm playing, I'm playing water, I'm playing Mermel, and it's like, fuck, you know. So, like, damn, this man has played two fucking pot of desires in this one duel. Like, if this man decks himself out, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> Like, holy shit. I'm still not a big fan of Pot of Desires. I'm still not a big fan. Like, uh, I'm going to a uh, regionals this weekend. And uh, I'm going to get my invite without without Pot of Desires in my deck. I can definitely say that. Uh, I don't like that card. But I, don't, I don't. I don't. <laughs> I, can, I, can, I, can, I can get my invite without it. So. Good. Go ahead and go into that Bahamut Shark. And we already know. You know, I already know the Bahamut Shark with the... Um, the tree top list. So I'm guessing this is. 
I don't know, I can't tell. Because I thought in Rated you could, you were only stuck to a specific type, but it just seems like it's just OCG TCG, you know? It seems like you're allowed to play OCG cards on a TCG list. Because clearly we are seeing OCG cards, True Toad, i.e. True Toad, but it's a TCG, I mean, no, but it's an OCG list. OCG card, OCG list? No, it's OCG card, OCG list. No, TCG list. Because there's three Dantes. So TCG list, OCG card. Three Dantes. Alright, go in yet into another Bahamut shark. Just summon two tree toads. Oh no, this one. Okay. Then um, maybe you go into, you know, two Bahamut sharks, you go into two tree toads, and just fuck you, but no. no. So, now tree toad. And this card's getting dumb. Like, just the fact that this card can summon Bahamut shark, it's just, it's just so unhealthy. It really is. So, summon tree toad who's now 2700 because of this dweller. And, uh, I mean, that that's that's definitely a, a really strong turnabout, turnaround, this, since, uh, you know, a baseball can just be like, no, you know. So, no to that Dante, no to whatever the material on it is, which was uh, nothing, rubric. So, no grabbing back with Dante. Uh, oh, you still have another extreme material, you still have a tree toe, like, I don't know, I don't know. We might be taking this to game three right here in the checkmate server. But, uh, like I said, I, I don't know. And the Checkmate server seems okay. I'd still think that, uh, possibly, uh, I, I still think Death is better. Especially for attack part. Because that's the problem. Is that it's, it seems convenient when it's just by myself. I just go, click, gone, I'm in, you know. But then I gotta get my tag partner to inform them which, you know, door going in that might miss. Uh, they might get already started. And it seems like it's playing catch up. It seems like it might be off if. We're both watching it. Like, if I click it and go in the room, and then my po and then my tire partner goes in the room, you know, will we be in sync when it comes to you know what's going on in the door? If it's like catching up, or would I just be ahead? Like, I don't know. I don't know. Thing is that I guess I got to figure out eventually. You know, when I actually get a tag partner join me. The reason why there's no uh, tag partner joining me in today's commentary is because the person who's joining me for daily duels doesn't talk. So uh, that's fine. We're fine. So you can go ahead and use your Infernary to run over the uh, the Tree Toad, despite getting that extra boost. And Infernoids, uh, going in with the Burning Abyss seems like it's doing, it's doing work. Infernoids are putting in that work, you know? It's not just, I mean, it really is just Dante that deck. Like, this deck right here, this Infernoid Burning Abyss PK Fire, sh well, not PK Fire, but this Infernoid Burning Abyss shit that we're seeing right now, this would not exist if Dante was at one. It wouldn't, it wouldn't, there'd be no point, you know? It's just like, literally all they did was just, okay, well, reasoning a monster get out one rip, you know, I guess we're just going to have to play some fucking Dante's and a Burning Abyss and just keep going and going and going and going, you know, so. Alright, so, go ahead and summon that dick and then harm that uh, behind the shark. So, he got out of it. That's, that's really that's really impressive. I kind of thought that uh, that the Burning Abyss Inferno guy would be fucked, but no, he, he got out of that. I was like, man, that's scary. This dog or Tree Toad, but he's like, you know, I can just attack over the Tree Toad. That doesn't activate. That's an, you know, that's inherent summon. And uh, run its ass over. Attack again and fuck you up with my dick. <laughs> Harm your dick. But the the water guy, he still has cards in his hand. He still has six cards in his hand. I wouldn't be surprised if it's just as simple as summon a barrier statue and hit, and hit you with this or Gecky, you know? I would not be surprised if that's what he does right now. No, no, no. Summon a barrier strategy, special summon a uh, silent angler. And then, that's it. Like, if that's all you're doing, then that... I mean, both of these monsters are stronger than your barrier statue. They ain't shit. Alright. So, it's just gonna attribute it off to take something out of your graveyard anyway, so it doesn't really doesn't matter. Then results of them, so I can get that cheap toad out of here, but wait. <laughs> You don't need to return that. <laughs> and now I'm just kind of sitting here wondering, like, barrier statue, special summon that anglerfish, and once again, it's not like this guy can't normal summon shit to attack over your ass. Like, if you have, like, a regeki right now, oh no, you can make a C play. Okay. Going to 101? Yeah, but he could hop out of the lane, can't he? Like, can't he just tribute itself to pick something out of graveyard, which means that you lose your materials, because you decide your extreme materials, it's cost. You know, you just tribute the deck. Yeah, you just use that, tribute, use Hammer deck, tribute the Tongo, so you get no extra material, and there's something else out of your graveyard, and now you're just sitting there with 101 without any extreme materials. And while the other guy is lower on resources, he still has shit in his graveyard, doesn't he? Does he have any more Inferno Monster? No, he doesn't, so looks like a Tongo might be stuck for a little while. Depends on what he drew. I mean, that's a that's a that's a great draw. It really is. 
Um, yeah, and so you can send the rhino, and then the fiendish rhino can go off, and yeah, we already know. We, we, we already know where this is going. Rip. <laughs> so, are you gonna like take it slow? Send Skarm. Skarm, get you your tour guide next turn. And the Harmon deck can go ahead and just get rid of that 101. Yep. yep. And then tour, grab that tour guide. Yep. Oh, so, once again, this guy is not out. That was that was a wonderful top deck. To top deck that foolish. Because it was just any Burning Abyss that wasn't anything to deal with Skarm, then that wouldn't have been too great. But because it was the foolish to send the Rhino, the Rhino to send the, the Skarm, you know. So I'm kind of wondering, maybe, maybe Rhino, maybe Skarm, definitely Terra Top, but, you know, what else? What, what, what is Konami going to do to make sure that, that, uh, to make sure that Dante never goes down to one? You know, what is Konami going to do? Wow, that sad moment when all you're doing is just normal summoning, uh, uh, freaking uh, great white and just attacking like oh okay so okay like I said do you have anything else yeah maybe like an instant fusion or something? no wow what are the cards in your hand Mr. Water Guy because ye, ye, here comes Tour Guy dude I don't know I don't know I'm not impressed I'm not impressed the Mr. Water Treat Toad fucking mad <laughs> Wasted fucking five dollars, man. You did waste five dollars. I'm real, dude, man. I'm fucking pissed off. Waste five motherfucking bucks. This man just have a handful of flying seas. I mean, no, no, I'm doing a Death Card Hunter. No, it's fine. Okay, so he dropped the flying sea on him, but you're still getting poked. And are you gonna just summon another freaking uh, Great White? Like, I'm kind of wondering. Like, is he running like the? Unexpected die and the rescue rabbit, like this it literally just seems like <laughs> Bahamut Shark and that tree toad that deck. <laughs> like anything you can do to make Bahamut Shark, that's what you run in this deck. You know? Because I mean, besides the warrior statue, like this helps you make Bahamut Shark, that helps you make Bahamut Shark. Pretty much all his my wow, did he this man literally just draw into like all of his greater whites? Like I don't he played Pot of Desires twice. And he draws into the fucking great whites and shit. Like, all right, all right. I mean, the good news is that now he has the strongest monster on the field. But the bad news is is that he's not really doing too much. Like now he sent another Infernoid monster. There's two Infernoid monsters. I mean, if he can summon, banish the two Infernoid monsters to summon another Atondo, and Tondo can run over that. You know, he doesn't need to exceed. So when you combine these two decks. Like, if it was just pure burning abyss, he might be able to pull off the win, you know? Especially since he could just take the flying sea and turn it into attack mode, attack, you know? Some of the Atondo attack, attack. So, yeah, that's game. That's game. You know? Uh, and we're done here. We're done there. Oh, so. The little water deck. I don't know. Wasn't too impressed. You played Pod Desires twice and still ended up with two of your great whites that do nothing. So, I don't know. I don't know. Probably doing some unexpected dice, too. So, yep. Yep. So, Burning Abyss, still good. And with the combination of Fernoids, got him out of some sticky situations. It really did. Anyway, like I said, we did the Checkmate server. I'm not too big fan of it, but, I mean, it seems like it's fine nonetheless. So, I hope that you guys enjoy this. You know, uh, hopefully Depro will be stable enough to get back on there for Depro to commentary because this quote-unquote shit's getting kind of annoying. And, uh, like I said, this series doesn't have too much longer. It ends when Daily Duels end, so... Yeah, so just hold on and look for a little bit longer, a couple more weeks, a couple more weeks. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, your support, and I will see you guys next time with some hopefully Death Proto commentary on Death Pro. If not, then more YGL. All right, thanks for watching.